How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. If you're looking for a quick beginner's guide, this video is for you. In this video I'll be going over how the start of the game works, when and how do you unlock the festival playlist, the auction house, the event lab, your loyalty rewards, when do you get them, VIP pass rewards, and some other basics as well. Just a general guide of when you unlock everything, how you unlock everything, all the features and stuff like that and very basics of how the game works. Now, when you first load into the game, you'll be given the prologue sort of starting races. This is very basic, I'm not gonna to touch on this much. You'll get to drive the Corvette, the Bronco, um, an off-road Porsche, and the Mercedes AMG one. Those are sort of the basic um, starting races it's gonna make you do. You will then arrive at the festival where you can pick one of the three cars. Doesn't matter which one you pick because you get the rest given to you anyway. And all this, you're still within sort of the uh, starting sort of tutorial missions. Um, after you've picked your car, let's say you picked the Bronco, it will then ask you to go straight towards a showcase event called On a Wing and a Prayer. You will have to do this showcase event against the uh, plane and the bikes. And then when you're back in the free room, it'll ask you to pick between two Horizon stories. It could be this one down here, or you could do one that's up here, which I didn't pick, so that's why it's not here. Essentially, there'll be, there'll be a few random things you have to do in the tutorial part of the game. It's not until you get back into the festival, after doing that first Horizon story, that you can then pick what to do next. And this is where I'm going to show you how to unlock everything from there. So once you get to Horizon Festival Mexico for the first time, you won't have anything unlocked. You won't have the festival playlist, the event lab, the auction house, any of your rewards, any of your free cars, you won't have any of that. However, what you will have unlocked is accolades. Now, accolades are basically just points that you get for doing races and challenges. Now, in the top right-hand corner, you can see that there is an accolade bar. In this case, I need 5,500 more accolade points to get my next sort of token. Every time you complete this bar, you get a token. So, as I see here, I need 5,500 more accolade points. Um, I can do any of these things here. I can... Um, Unlock the entire car mastery tree in the Volkswagen Beetle and that will give me 750 points. Or I could just do a simple race. And every time you complete the bar, you get a token. I'll, I'll go on to what the tokens are in a bit. So when you get to Horizon Mexico for the first time, you unlock the accolade ability and you'll also unlock a few races. This race will pop up, for example. This one down here will pop up and there's a few down here as well. You get a few races pop up. But the next thing you're going to want to do is get your first house, which it gives you automatically for completing your accolades. So you won't have anything a lot. You'll only have a few cars. You'll only have a few races. Just do them. Just get through them. The first time you get your accolade bar all the way to the top, you're going to get a token and you're going to get your first house. What it will do is it will tell you to drive down here to this house right here and it will give you it for free. It will sort of say congratulations, little little message, you know, completed your first purchase house, and it will give you one of them tokens. Now, although when you unlock your first player house, you don't actually unlock anything like the festival playlist, the auction house, you don't get any of that. What you do get is your loyalty rewards. So as soon as you've got your first house, if you've played any of the previous Forza Horizon games or Forza Motorsport games, you will get the cover car of that Forza. So after you get to your first player house, let's say that you've played Horizon 3 and Horizon 2 in the past, you will get given the cover cars, which are the Gen Scenario and the Hurricane. Let's say you played Horizon 4, you'll get given a Senna. Let's say you played Forza Motorsport 6, you'll get given the Ford GT. So after the, the first player house that you get is where you'll get given the loyalty rewards, but this is basically the only rewards you get. Everything else we need to unlock a bit later on, which we're going to get to now. Now, as I said, after you unlock the first house, which means getting the, the accolade bar up to full, you'll also get a token which can be spent in the Horizon Adventure. Now, it will tell you what this screen means when you get your first house. It will sort of introduce you to it. But essentially, every time you get your accolade bar to the full, you'll get a token which can be spent on any of the Horizon festivals. You can go into a festival and spend your token on upgrading it. For example, I get, I complete the accolade bar, I get a token and I want to buy um, the Horizon Story, this one here, I could do that. Or 
I want to spend my token on the Goliath, I can do that. For example, if I wanted to open up the Horizon Wilds Festival, I would have to buy this top one here, which gives me an expedition. Once you do the expedition, it gives you the festival. So that's what the Horizon Adventure is. It's how you get new festivals and upgrade them by using the tokens you get from upgrading, from gaining the accolades. In this case, I'm going to get another token in 5,500 more. But anyway, you all want to know how to get the festival playlist and the uh, Ocean House and the Event Lab and stuff like that. After you unlock the first house, you need to complete your accolade bar one more time to get all of this stuff unlocked. Now, there is a very quick way that I can recommend doing this. As I said, after you get your first house, you'll also get a point. Now, what I recommend spending this point on, or this token, is the Horizon Apex Expedition. Buy this top one here, and what this will do is spending your token on that will give you access to this expedition on the map. And once you do this expedition, you will get so many accolade points that you will nearly complete the bar straight away, just from doing this expedition. And after you've done the expedition, as I said, you'll get thousands of accolade points. And not only that, you will unlock the, um, the Horizon Apex Outpost Festival down here. So yeah, you don't unlock everything after buying your first house. You actually unlock everything after getting another token after the first house. Does that make sense? Now, this is also the point that you get all of your other rewards as well. For example, you will get the Welcome Pack. If you have it anyway, you, you need to buy it. And this is the point where you'll get given the welcome pack cars. You'll get the Apollo IE and the Evo 10 and the Supra, all of the welcome pack cars. This is the point you'll get in. You will also get your VIP pass rewards as well, such as the emotes, the horn and stuff like that. And you will also get a car voucher. Now, the car voucher is something I presume part of the VIP pass. Now, this car voucher, you can literally go to the auto show and buy any car you want for free. Only one though. You have one voucher to spend on any car, doesn't matter how expensive it is. I bought the McLaren F1 GT, as you can see on screen. Um, yeah, this is the point you will get given your car voucher, which you can spend on any car you want. And along with that, you'll get given your VIP Pass Forza Edition cars as well, such as the BMW X5 and the um, Ford Racing Puma and stuff like that. Now, as I said, this is the point you'll unlock the festival playlist as well. So we're in summer at the moment, as you can see, and I have 30 out of 64 points. Instead of working in percentages, it works in points instead. So for my weekly challenge, I could get five points. For my daily challenges, I can get one point. And there's two cars um, this week to get. There's the DeLorean for 26 points and the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera for 46 points. Um, so I have to do as many things as I can to get 26 points to unlock the car. This is the point you will get the event lab as well. Now, the event lab is um, on the creative hub. This is where you can play other people's events. Um, if you just want to race someone else's event lab, that's where you can do it. Or you can go up to the stadium and do it at the, um, the, the playground games area. Um, or at any race. Go into a race, go to solo, and there you will see create blueprint for event lab and this is where you go in pick what cars you want to use pick what class name description event settings um, and the rules of play this is seriously cool stuff but that's the event lab that's how you do that now the auction house is where you'd expect it to be it is in the auto show in the buy and sell Nothing's changed from last time. Now, at this point, you would have also unlocked the Forzathon shop as well. Exactly the same as last year. You can buy wheel spins, super wheel spins, cars, um, a rare car, or a sombrero in this case. But yeah, it's basically at this point of completing your accolade bar at least one more time after unlocking the first house that you unlock all of the features. And that's a basic overview of how they work. The VIP pass will also unlock you your free house, which is here. And your welcome pack, if you have the welcome pack, will also unlock you another free house, which is over here. If you don't have either of them, you can buy them for credits instead. Super 7 will also unlock and everything is just basically available to you from there. Do your events, just do whatever you want. From there, everything's unlocked. Yeah, this is sort of just a very rough, basic guide of how to get going with Horizon 5, where everything unlocks and how to do everything. The more challenges and the more races you do, the more tokens you'll get to spend on your festivals. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, guys. It'd be likely if you've enjoyed. Enjoy Fort 2005 when it releases. 
and I'll see you all later.